Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is how a switch dynamically builds source address table. In this video, I will talk about a general layer two switch, not including layer three or multi-layer switch. Here are some common features of a layer two switch. One, a switch separates a collision domain. When node A sends a frame to B, only its receiver B can get the frame. When node C talks to D, only its receiver D can hear. Communications on a local switched network become one-to-one -one conversations, and a switch gives every conversation a full bandwidth of the network. Two. A switch creates a broadcast domain. A broadcast domain is a switched local area network. Specifically, any node using uh, 12 Fs as a destination MAC address is broadcasting. Any other nodes in the same broadcast domain can hear the message. Three, a switch forwards frames based on MAC addresses. Specifically, based on source address table. What is a source address table? Source address table, or sometimes called MAC address table, is used on switches to determine where to forward traffic on a switched line. We simply call it set table. How does a switch build and expand its set table dynamically? When a switch is first turned on, the switch copies the source MAC addresses and builds a table of all connected devices and their associated ports. This table is a source address table. When computer A sends a frame to computer C. The switch would forward the frame to port four, where the computer C is attached. The same is true when computer D sends a frame to computer B. The switch would forward the frame to port three. Let's see how the switch expands the set table dynamically as new devices are added. Suppose two new computers E and F. Are plugged into port eight and port nine, respectively. Notice that set table does not change. The reason is that a switch learns MAC address of a newly connected device only after the switch receives a frame from that new device. In other words, the switch does not update its set table. Until it receives a frame from a new device, let's see an example. Suppose the computer E sends a frame to computer F. When the switch receives the frame, it checks source MAC address first. The switch does not see computer E's MAC address in the set table. Then the switch updates the table by adding computer E's MAC address. And associated port eight. Then the switch checks the destination MAC address, which is F's MAC address. And again, the switch does not see the F's MAC address in the table, and it has no idea of which port is connected to the computer F. How to find computer F? The best method is broadcasting. The switch broadcasts the frame to all other ports except port eight, because the broadcast cannot go back to the source. When computer F gets the broadcast message, it replies normally. When the switch gets the frame, it checks the source MAC address again, and it does not see it in the set table. Then the switch updates the table by adding computer F's MAC address and its associated port nine. In this way, the switch learns MAC address 
and is associated port of every transmitting device. With a set table at hand, a switch can improve its switching performance and network speed in general. In next several videos, I will talk about some other functions of layer 2 and multi-layer switches, such as spanning tree protocols, port mirroring, VLANs, VLAN trunking protocol, and some other related topics. Please. Stay tuned. I hope this video is helpful. If you want to learn network systematically, please check out my playlists. They are organized by topics. Thank you very much and see you next time.